equipment laid out. So we have our lightweight two-person sleeping or tent here. We have our two uh, inflatable air pads. We have two Osprey backpacks. I think they're 65 liter pack. Oh no, they're 50 liter packs. They're women's. I think we got medium size. Yes. Right? And then our two sleeping bags, which are lightweight and they are 50 degree rated. We have everything lined up outside so we can spray it all with permethrin so we don't get Lyme disease. Well, here's Hannah getting our clothing ready so we don't come back with any chronic or autoimmune disorders. <laughs> like Lyme disease and what's not a virus. Such as, yep. What else? Oh, uh, sugars. Sugars, all kinds of horrible sounding things. It says dengue, chikungunya, yellow fever. Oh, chicken kuya and dengue. <laughs> Exciting. So, I, so we're spraying it on everything. If I didn't get it in Haiti, I'll get it in Virginia. <laughs> Here's some of our food ready the night before we go. So I have them into Ziploc bags so I don't get anything confused. So we have some sugar. We have powdered whole milk. Um, these meals from Backpackers Pantry are pretty good. They do have two servings. Her bag, but we are figure we will be pretty hungry. Um, some homemade granola bars, which will be a snack. And then I have almond butter. We got a little espresso packets, some snacks for later, which are um, gummy bears and <laughs> trail mix. Did you have oh, no, we didn't have yeah, we have sporks. And then for lunch each day will be either some type of um, chicken breast or tuna. I'm not a big fan of tuna. So there's some variation here. This one is a chana masala. This one is Kathmandu curry, which looks really good. They don't have a ton of protein, but it's pretty decent. And then I have tortillas. So the tortilla will be for either the tuna or the turkey or the almond butter. And then we also got these lovely buffalo sauces, which will go with the tortillas to kind of spice things up a little bit. And this is some of Claudia's food, which is the same idea. She has some beans, rice, lots of oatmeal for breakfast and um, granola, which we can put with the milk. And then she got some coconut milk and lots of protein bars, tuna, and oh, biscotti, looks great. So we are starting to pack up. <laughs> <laughs> Claudia with her backpack and look at the ceiling. Check this out. <laughs> Found an Irish flag. I know, I'm like, Washington, D.C. Yeah, like, if you know you're going to need to get off the train for a short break on the station platform for the designated smoking stop. And for your immediate future, we've got Rock Beer, Maryland around 4.30 or so. Harpenburg, West Virginia around 5.25. Martinburg, West Virginia around 5.50 or so. And then Cumberland, Maryland around 7.30 or so. Collinsville, Pennsylvania, it may be just after 10 o'clock. That means no announcements for Collinsville, Pittsburgh, Alliance, Cleveland, Illyria, Sandusky, Toledo until 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. town. There's where we just came from in the train station. Very sweet. <laughs> All right, so we're hiking down by the Shenandoah River. Say hi for the video. Hello. All right, it is Sunday night. We start hiking tomorrow. This is called Shenandoah Falls. We're gonna go and check it out in just a minute. See kind of the rapids there. There were some kayakers a minute ago. It's around 7.30 in the evening and it's beautiful. It's around 8 a.m. Harper's Ferry. We are about to leave for our first day.
of hiking. This is our super cute little uh, inn that we're staying in. It is um, about 200 year old building, teeny tiny bed, teeny tiny windows, that look out on the town. Um, there's no air conditioning. And these are our packs all ready to go. And you can see there's like creaky floorboards. My pack ready to go. Um, did not sleep well last night. There's trains coming through all night, which is super annoying. <laughs> so that's okay. We are ready to go. We had our coffee, packs, getting our water, and we're good to go. So go to the trail. All right, Monday morning. We are ready to go. Backpacks are loaded up. Any words of wisdom? Survive. Just, just make it, girl. Just make it. We're be feeling strong. good. It's going to be hot I'm, out today. I'm not feeling good. Yeah. Kathleen's feeling good. Kathleen's feeling good. Exactly. I'm ready to go. All right, here we go to the trail. Yeah, sweating our butts off. Look at that view out there. It means we're only about 20 minutes from lunch. Where we came from. Okay, so it is Monday night. Um, it's around 8.30 p.m. We are completely exhausted. We had a really tough day today. We hiked about 12.7 miles, but all told we did about 19 miles, just with little detours and whatnot and climbing up and down ravines to get water. Um, we had lunch at a place called Keys Gap around 1 p.m. And then we made it to this campsite finally around 6.30 when the sun was setting. So we are completely exhausted. Um, this place is called Black, Black Rock or Black Stone Cabin, Black Stone Cabin. Um, it was a really, really steep walk to get down here. Like I'm talking like a 45 to 50 degree um, decline down the side of the mountain with pure stone steps to get here. Um, but now that we're here, it's beautiful. It was worth it. We also had an issue getting water because when we left Harper's Ferry, there is there, all of the um, streams that hikers would normally use have dried up because it's summertime. So we had to take about a one mile detour, again, super deep down a ravine to be able to get to a tiny stream. And we realized we were super dehydrated. So we had to drink about two liters each before refilling all of our bags. And it was, a, it was all the way uphill here. But um, anyway, I wanna show you behind me our campsite um, is right over there. You can hardly see the tent because it's dark. There's two tiny cabins up the hill. Um, this one over here is the main cabin, which is normally open to, open to campers, but right now it's closed because of COVID-19. And you can see there's this huge, beautiful tree. And if you watch really carefully, you can see the fireflies lighting up. Um, normally it's pretty lively. Today it's quiet, so lots of picnic tables. And because we're in Virginia, when you look out here, you can actually see um, all the way down to the ocean, which is about 50 miles away. And so then down there, they're also having a bonfire, which is gonna be set up for the night. And over there in the little outhouse is where Claudia um, and Kathleen are taking a shower, which is really amazing because we couldn't believe we got to take a clean shower tonight, which is, you know, fantastic. The water's not warm, but it's so hot out. It was high, it was 95 degrees today. So it just felt great to just shower off and we rinsed out all of our clothes. And we're gonna hang them out, hoping they dry by tomorrow. No towels, so we air dried. Um, so we're pretty beat. We have a lot of marks on our shoulders from our bags. We're not sunburnt, we're just tired. Um, we did, we were able to make our food here with our little tiny stove. So we had a good dinner, we brushed our teeth and we are 8.30 p.m. ready to go to bed because we're exhausted. So hopefully have a good day tomorrow. Thank you. 
today's day two. Can you get invited again? We found wild raspberries. Are they delicious? Yes, the little ones are not, but it is what it is. <laughs> so we need every calorie we can get. <laughs> we just had our lunch, pad thai and lasagna. So yummy. So it was delicious. We've reached the scenic spot, which is kind of creepy because there's a huge drop off. That's beautiful. I think we're looking, I'm not really sure what, west-ish. So there's a little farmhouse over there that you can see. And it's getting hot because it's the middle of the day. We have about three miles left to go. Too. This is our camp for the night. It's our tent, our things, and our little washing line. And this is a really nice private campsite. There's Claudia and Kathleen putting on their socks clothes. Are very smelly. So we can go drinking. <laughs> um, there's this beautiful own stolen house, which is usually a camper's retreat, but it's closed because of COVID. So we took an outdoor ghetto shower. We're gonna um, have a real dinner. Tonight. We're gonna have a real dinner. So. And wine, so we were very excited. We had a very hard day today. It was very difficult. It wasn't super hot. There was a little bit of cloud cover. We found raspberries by the side of the road, which is pretty cool. Yep. Yeah. And what else happened today? We had a yeah. We had a delicious uh, lunch way up in the mountains, and we are in the roller coaster, which is basically ten mountains over fourteen miles, up down, up down, up down, up down. We crossed a highway. Uh, we met this cool guy called Bill who helped us find water and he's got this cool camping chair and he freeze dries all kinds of stuff like eggnog. Um, so yeah, we're, we're going out for dinner. I think I would be okay with living here in this part of the country. Hell to no. <laughs> I'm like, I'll be watching this. I'll be watching this. So Tuesday night, we had some great drinks at yes. the local brewery. Yes, and it's what I you needed. Can't, you can't see our faces, but yes. <laughs> our faces are super happy. My wifey went and got me some pizza and wine. So pizza we're back and wine. Happy. Yes, we I walked. I paid her five hours ago. <laughs> we walked half a mile for that shit, and it was so worth uh, we'll it. We walked five miles. And you can, there's there is fireflies. And there are a ton of crickets or cicadas or whatever they are. they are. And you may not oh, see it, the but the moon is way up there through the trees and our camp is set up. This and is we one of are... our best ideas. Even though I said yesterday, this is my worst idea. Shit, it's on camera! <laughs> <laughs> Wednesday afternoon. Um, we had set out to hike about five miles today. We've only gotten about 3.1 in. It was really rough, really steep incline, about 500 feet in a half a mile again. Um, so our plan was to break here for lunch and then keep going, but we're having difficulty with the terrain and just trying to figure out how we end our hike. So we're at this Oh, sorry, shelter called Sam Moore Shelter, which is beautiful. So I'm gonna just show you. This is what the shelter, all the shelters on the AT are like this, three sides. So all the hikers would sleep along here. Um, up the hill over there behind those trees is the privy. There is a nice flat-ish campsite over there. And then a campfire. So we'll have a campfire later. And down over here, you can kind of hear there is a little brook which is the most important thing when you're camping that you can access water so there's a little stream there that we can filter so we've decided we're just gonna stop for the day and take a take a light day and just rest and read our books and there's a nice little picnic table over here where we just had our cooked lunch so we're looking forward to relax
Okay, go. This is what a true Irish does. <laughs> she hikes. How many hours have we done so far? Today? Yeah. No, like overall. Oh. We did first day 10, second day 8, today was like 4 almost. So how many hours is that? I'm <laughs> counting in hours 22. Now. So we actually have walked for 22 hours. <laughs> <laughs> and she's carrying this all on. Yes, two and some crystal light packets Absolutely. so I can make it into lemonade. And what is in this smart water bottle right there? Oh shit. I'm gonna call this Kill Bill. <laughs> uh, whiskey. Black Cherry Mio. And Coke. And, and stream water. Fresh spring water. Fresh spring water. Filter. <laughs> it smells like, like, like a like a fruit cooler. Yeah, it does yeah. smell like a fruit cooler yeah. with a little bit of like you know old ass at the end. <laughs> <laughs> so this is our dinner that we just finished. Oh uh, yes. What did you guys uh, have? Oh Some my god, this curry. was so good. I will mm -hmm. definitely buy this so I can eat in my call room. <laughs> <laughs> we have a little stove, mm -hmm. and that is the we're at the Sam Moore shelter tonight. Sun is starting to go down, and we have a little creek that's right down there, and we are in the middle of nowhere. And we're gonna go to a fire pit here shortly. Yeah. Yep. Good times. Mm -hmm. I mean, I also have my ghetto playlist. But it's fine for now. Biggie, biggie, biggie. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I have my hood playlist. I have my feeling nature playlist. There has to be a Latina playlist oh, in there I, somewhere. That's, that's, that's yeah. I can give it. Like, hello. <laughs> Did it have my super romantic one, like you know, my English and Spanish? Oh yeah, don't play that. That's not for today. I would love to see a two-step to the Macarena. Hell yes, Los del Rio. <laughs> Yeah, I did too. called the Electric Cowboy in um, so extra. Fort, Fort Campbell, Tennessee. Fort, Fort Campbell, Tennessee. Tennessee. But it's like a famous. Do you have to wear like cowboy boots to get in? No. Okay. It has like your crowd with the gangsters <laughs> with their hats on sideways, <laughs> and there's. There's like girls that are dressed from like 19 fucking 40. It's so like eclectic, different crowd. Okay, I'm but gonna mark it down. This is the place I, they have like a mechanical bowl you can ride. <laughs> They're mechanic. Like it's playing, like riding a It's about 8.30, so we had our breakfast, we packed up. Kathleen found some ticks. It's Kathleen found uh, ticks. I think I have some now, I'm yeah. <laughs> There's a little shelter where people were, one guy stayed last night, he came in late around 10.30, and our friend Chains is uh, smoking his last cigarette before we get started. So we heard some coyotes during the night, lots of frogs, you can hear the cicadas. And we're leaving for the last night. Our next stop is a hotel. just arrived in our hotel. This is our little room up the stairs. This is an 1829 inn. And we have these fabulous rooms that say the Ashby and it says Paris is always a good idea. And we also have some port that we're about to drink here in a minute. What? So, <laughs> so we had our boxes sent to us with all of our real clothes. So we have some real sweaters and pajamas. I got my beautiful new shoes, clean undies, clean shirt. So we're gonna be taking our first real shower yeah. here in a few minutes. And we are very we excited. We check ticks, we don't have any. We have to check the bottom part. Yes, oh, I got another book that I brought with me. Very excited and we're gonna go find some food. All 
Go ahead, we'll tell her that. Oh, the music's still on. Yeah, because you're doing a video. I'm sorry. We should actually have a picture of us. Yes. Like, a big foot hit him over there. Okay, ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, go. So, um... What I like best about the trip is hiking. I really like hiking more than camping. <laughs> and um, I, uh, what I learned is that you need to, I need to pack more shorts, <laughs> like maybe one <laughs> extra thing of clothes because yep. I sweat a lot. And I think that's it. I just really like hiking. I don't like camping as much. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. You did a great job. Yeah. Okay. All right. And this is our, we just want to show our beautiful view here from the Ashby. We're having dinner. And well, what about you, Claudia? I learned that I'm a camper, not a hiker. <laughs> Although I enjoy hiking to get to my camping spot. I learned that... Um, you can go ahead, please. Okay, all right. I learned about, about myself. Um, it was actually very good to be in nature. Yes. Um, I'll definitely do it again. Um, and Claudia and needs a lot of we, zero days. Yes, and I think we learned a lot about each other. More than you and I thought we knew about each other. So I think it was a great trip. Yeah. Um, what I'll do different is be more organized when I pack my shit. <laughs> is this an amuse bouche? It is an amuse. All right. So uh, my favorite part was definitely just being outdoors, kind of like just bringing everything on your back and knowing that the campsite we set up was everything we carried with us. Um, I did not like the heat and going uphill. That's the worst. Oh, my other favorite part was everyone's trail names and meeting Lucky Charm and. Neo last night. We met Bumblebee, Chains, Spills Beer. Who else do we meet? Jingleberry, Grumpy Bear, Smoky Bear. Smoky Bear. <laughs> and Patience. And, and Patience. And everybody had a story and everybody was so kind and nice. And um, Lucky Charms had some great stories by the fire last night. So I really cannot wait to come back. Um, I think I did a pretty decent job with packing, but I would plan a little better and sort of not get caught up in my schedule. But I definitely want to come back. We had a great time.